All right, we've almost automated our fuel setup. I just made another pump. So we're pumping from this chemical reactor into this tank here. And then from that tank, we're gonna go into our, oh, I did not mean to click that, um, into our combustion generator. So we automatically have fuel coming in here. The only thing that's not automated here is the creation of the fuel. Because to do that, we need um, what we need. <laughs> what is the word for this? Um, we need oxygen and hydrogen, right? And to get hydrogen, oh, how do we ha not have enough power suddenly? Oh, it's because I accidentally clicked something. Oh, okay. That's the one thing about having wires in the like underneath your thing. If you want to edit something quickly, you got to do like ten backflips and. Backflips are, you know, someone of my age, <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm at least 18 years old. <laughs> Anywhere from 18 to 50 years old. <laughs> but here we go. Um, okay, I see. So we got to click bottom and then we connect. There we go. Now we should have power. Yes. Okay, perfect. So ideally, if I just get the hydrogen gas, put it in here. It'll work, right? Um, but it's not for some reason. I really don't know why. I mean, it has power, right? Um, it has this. Like, if we look at the recipe for this, chemical gas, hydrogen, it's on four, right? It's got to be on four. Um, yeah, four. Sulfuric light. Oh, no, no, that's right. Sulfuric light fuel. Let's see. Sulfuric light fuel. We need 12 kiloliters? Oh, maybe that's the problem. We don't have 12 kiloliters. Why don't we have 12 kiloliters? Okay. Um, well, that fixes partially my problem. We need more fuel. Um, good thing we have this huge stash of it from <laughs> what I was doing before. So boom, click here. Okay. Perfect. I think that fixed the problem. So yeah, I guess you need 12 kiloliters. That seems like a lot, but it's okay. So there we go. And that should pump immediately into there, which pumps into our generator. Awesome. I think we're, we're good for power, finally. I mean, of course, we can't run all the machines at the same time. Um, I guess that's where MV comes in. Um, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I think we're definitely making progress. And uh, I think my next steps are definitely to finish up this blast furnace. Um, I know I've been saying that for like 10 years, but I, I gotta do it. <laughs> it is finally done after what seems like a week of just gathering materials. And well, I mean, I was kind of frustrated a little bit on like the power situation because the, the solar power, I, I call it solar power. Um, I guess these boilers over here, uh, they're not even connected to anything anymore because uh, honestly, yeah, I should probably cover them before uh, they use all their steam, I guess, right? Because if, if they use all their steam, then I have to wait for them to cool down. Um, but anyways, yeah, about a week, and it is finally complete. I don't, I don't, I have no idea how to use it, um, but it's here. Um, so I, I do know that. I think I was reading something in here, or somewhere in the in this quest, that to power it. Oh, in here. Um, during setup, it's hollow. Yes, nothing got in the middle. <laughs> Um, I, I, I was struggling because like I, I think there's a torch on the wall that was in the way. I'm like, why isn't it building? But eventually it built. Um, put two generators right next to each of the hatch with a two amp cable. Okay. So what is a two amp cable, you might ask? Uh, that is a good question. I have no idea. But what I can assume is these are one amp, right? So if I make them bigger, max amperage is two, right? That makes sense, right? Um, so I'm thinking I can just use these cables. These, well, these are four amps, huh? I guess I could use that. Um, I don't know, like, what will that hurt? But anyways, I, I think I'm going to go to sleep after building this. <laughs> I think building it enough was like, I built the Stargate, beat the game. All right, time to back it up, boys. All right, welcome back to Psychopath Gameplay. Um, <laughs> in this episode, we're figuring out uh, how... In the heck and does a, a blast furnace work in minecraft and uh i, I think i figured it out after well I, I don't i don't know if yet for sure but um 
This blast furnace requires... I'm not going to head with a soft hammer yet because I don't have everything connected. But a blast furnace requires 120 EU um, per second. I guess. Yeah, 120 EU. Um, each of these... Each of these turbines makes 32. I think it's like around 120 anyways. So I, initially I was having um, just a com combustion generator and steam turbine. I'm um, thinking it would work. I was wiring it with these two amp cables, um, 10 cables. But the reason it wasn't working was because uh, that just wasn't enough power. Like 30 plus 30, around 30 is only 60. It needs 120 something, right? So I need two, so I had to build Another turbine and another generator, which I need to hook up. Um, boom, hooked up. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I can probably just go ahead and connect this, actually. Let me just do it now, sure. Uh, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Oh, no. This is annoying. You gotta destroy this, do that, to do this, to do these. Okay, now I think don't quote me on this, but I think we're ready for the final mode. Oh my gosh. And this is not even the end of LV. Okay, so we put in some steam wool. And then we got to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> oh. You know, when I was a kid, I would watch this Minecraft YouTuber. I, I say a kid, as if I'm not old or young. But he would say I would hit a... If you see a duck, you got a chicken, you got to hit it with a shovel. Anyways, okay, we're going to hit this. Oh, is it working? No valid rest. Well, yeah, I kind of would help. <laughs> oh, man, if I actually put... Okay, I messed up. Okay, so it would help if I put something in the input buffer, right? Um, the reason nothing's in there is because... Uh... I was just wasting a bunch of stuff and because I, I it wasn't working because I didn't have enough power um, for the longest amount of time. I I think I wasted like five steel dust and I think one al aluminum or whatever, just trying to make stuff work. Anyways, did, did I put something in there? I don't even remember. <laughs> um, but if I did, it probably doesn't work. Um, anyway, oh. What is this? This is okay. Another solution I was trying to come up with is to use these battery buffers, and basically you just put them next to something, but you have to put batteries in them, right? That's what my issue was. I'm like, okay, I made this. That seems useful for the steam because I heard steam is not very good with powering big things like this. So um, that didn't work in the end, <laughs> um, and it didn't work because. We don't have any batteries and the way to get batteries is you need the antimony which you need a ebf or bbf or centrifuge tetrahedrite which is not worth it it was not worth the the price let's just say because you need eight tetrahedrite to make one thing so eight times 32 is way too much just to i i mean i don't know I, it would take it would take a while anyways okay i think we're good now am i good i think so uh, yeah, we're, we're fueled, we're stooled, we got tons of liquids, um, yeah, let's try it out, uh, wait, make sure steel's in here, no, steel, where did it go, oh, I must have wasted, okay, let me get a couple more, ooh, I'm hyped, I'm hyped for this to work, please work, <laughs> okay, I'll just take a whole steel stack, I have been running out of steel, this will help, one, two, Okay. Hammer. Oh, it's working. <laughs> it, see, it's it's hard to tell if it's working or not. The only indicator I know. Oh, uh, I was actually just looking at the green lights, but <clears throat> but now I can look in the bottom right corner. See, there's the progress bar, right? My now main concern is ah, uh, this is what I was worried about. I don't have enough steel steam for this. And yeah, that is a concern. I have another source of steam all the way over here, um, which I probably I just dropped my wrench. <laughs> I'm just so excited that's working. I'm just fumbling over here. All right, it's not even working 100%, but you know, it's it's making progress. I think it stopped. Yeah, because these things ran out of steam. That's okay. That's okay. 
Um, look at that. It's actually... Oh, it only used one. That's okay. But it's progress, right? It's progress. Are these still draining? No, these are not draining. It's just th these are draining for some reason. It's strange. Let me disconnect these. Okay. So I think we just need more steam and then we can call it a good. Because I don't want to make more of these generators. These, it just takes so long to generate. <laughs> No, I didn't even intend that pun. Okay, no pun intended. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make, I guess, a bunch more pipes to store all this. And then, then we can try again using this high-pressure coal boiler as well. So let's try that, and there we go. And yeah, we did it, I think. Um. Okay, I just waited 50 seconds. But let me check the output hatch. Um, and I'll show you how I did it with steam power, which I would not recommend. Okay, nice. It worked. Yeah, I would not recommend using steam for this. It's just a headache. But if you want to, look at my, <laughs> my little drawing I made over here in pipes. Um, since I don't have a, a storage system for the steam, I thought this was a, a good storage system. Just use large steel pipes. I think it mentions that in like one of the quests. But I have my all my steam machines. I have the simple solar boiler. High pressure solar boiler, high pressure coal boiler, and then a simple coal boiler. And all that is working just to make one steel ingot <laughs> for 50 seconds. So that's, yeah, it's, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, I obviously can't like continue doing that. I need to, um, I need to upgrade my power infrastructure by using probably more of these generators here. In which case, I'm going to need to upgrade my <laughs> how I generate my fuel because this is I'm not going to use it. I don't know. I feel like this might run out pretty quickly if I do it like that. But we shall see because I'm going to need a good way to make hydrogen because that also uses a lot of power, I think. But yeah, I'm I feel like that's successful. Now I can sleep. <laughs> All right. After mining in the sweat mines for 15 centuries, I have antimony ingots 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 anyways and i made those by putting the stibnite stuff stibnite. it's a stibnite it's not it's more than stuff anyways i put the stibnite to get roasted antimony how did i get stibnite you might ask i think it was just an ore <laughs> i think i just got it from an ore um let me see, make sure yeah i think i just had stibnite ore and i just you know processed it anyways um, yeah, so I got the this this stuff, this antimony, antonomy, and then I smelted it, and then I am now combining it with battery. Oh, sorry, what am I combining with lead to make this battery battery alloy? What is wrong with my voice today? But uh, yeah, look at look at my smorgasbord of pipes on my roof up here. Um, they're not connected right now, but um, I was doing this for some extra steam storage, you know? Big brain steam storage. I mean, I, I haven't used steam too often. I'm now using more of this um, light fuel stuff, I guess, actually. Got 48 light fuel tanks, or cells, so that's useful. I can't wait to get make diesel. Um, I haven't, like, fully automated this setup yet, but, like, right now, the distillery will make oil, then it'll turn into light fuel. By using hydrogen, I have a lot of hydrogen actually, because um, I was I needed oxygen to make I have like six hydrogen large uh, hydrogen fluid cells, because um, I needed oxygen to make the antimony battery thing. But the the reason I want to get these batteries is because I have these battery buffers that need batteries. Anyway, so now I got battery alloy, which I can ideally bend it real quick and then we should be good to go to make some battery alloys in fact i've already made the fluid canner i think did i yeah it's right here because i was trying to like automate the process because like the electrizer will output like oxygen and then hydrogen i wanted to bottle it so i can send it over to my chemical reactor to get hydrogen cells but i was getting a headache <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, that's the goal. Eventually automate all this. And then I'll make my base a little bit better looking. <laughs> Instead of having random holes in the ground that creepers can just walk up into. You know, it is inviting. 
for them, but they can just walk underneath here. Oh my god. Okay, don't, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Nobody look. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I want to just like explore just expanding my base. Uh, I don't care. Um, yeah, expanding my base horizontally and vertically. Maybe not vertically. I've done a lot of vertical base expansions. I'm going to do horizontally this time around. Anyway, so we have, we're going to make the battery alloy. Oh, okay. I don't have enough of these alloy plates. I thought it was one per. But, oh, you need 10. Okay, I'm going to go make, make more of that. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready now to make arson. Oh, I, I made arson, right? <laughs> I didn't commit arson. But I'm like, where am I going with this? Anyways, we're trying to make gallium arsenide, which we can use to make... I don't actually know what this is used for. Um, but it's, it's part of the quest, part of the ship, part of the crew. Uh, so we're going to combine arsenic and gallium, which I got... I don't... I think I only got, like, one, two gallium and one arsenic from like processing like all my ores. Um, so we're gonna put them in. Um, this will take, I think, a little bit more EU than um, making steel, but I have these lithium batteries now, which work is about to. Oh, is it already working? Oh crap, it is working. I'm like, why is it going down? <laughs> why, why, why go, why number go down? Um, that's interesting. It's still going down. Even though this isn't doing it. Oh, no, it is doing it. Okay, no. No, we have 60 seconds. Okay, I will wait 60 seconds then. All right, 60 million seconds later, we have gallium arsenide crystal. We're making bulls, bullies. We're bull. All right, so we have one, two gallium. So ideally, we want to get more arson. Nick. <laughs> All right, so now, okay, now we can make diodes. Okay, so I guess the whole point of this is to make diodes so that we can eventually make good circuits. Because this whole LV tier was about bad circuits, and we want to make the good ones now. So it needs circuit diodes, um, two ways you can crush the gallium arsenide, the dust, and combine that with fine copper and molten glass. Okay. Okay. All right, sounds good. We'll crush it down, then we can make the diode. 